wondering how much of the stunt you really did in this movie because it wasn't a matte painting shot. It was really you flying. Yeah. No. Free falling. We didn't do any of it. In fact, we're not even in the movie. Oh, we're not even, you know, <laughs> uh, we did as much as we could survive. <laughs> Sir, we spent a, spent a lot of time on the bottom of the ocean rather than on top of a surfboard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we did most of it, man. I mean, I don't know, time permitting and blah, 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 blah. Uh, in the film, there's surfing, there's skydiving, there's fights, and um, I don't know, we do most of it. I did a lot of skydiving. I was planning on doing it anyway because my little brother's been skydiving for a long time. So this gave me a chance to, uh, to do it on film and have Larry Gordon pay for it. Oh, right. 60s. 60s, maybe. Yeah, yeah, right. Like Woodstock survivor yeah. type of thing. Although he's very young. And do you have that type of part in you? I definitely have the adrenaline junkie in me. I mean, <laughs> that's a p big part of the reason why I wanted to do the role is to, to get rid of that part or exercise it from my life and it only got worse <laughs> you know now i jump out of planes and stuff but uh i uh bodhi was really exciting to me because he, he's in many ways a lot of who i am mm. and uh helped me define that part of my life in a, in a much healthier and, way uh, they say it means a uh, cool breeze over the mountains oh it's like kind of dances with wolves type kind of thing right yeah. yeah i hope kevin doesn't do my my name <laughs> It is really. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Kevin Costner is Keanu. Uh, <laughs> cool breeze over the mountains. I'm not going to pay for that. I'll have to change my name. Basically, this one teacher I had in New York, Warren Rob Robertson, his technique was to break your act, who you think you are. Because if you're playing a macho actor, a shy actor, an angry actor, a gay actor, whatever it is, and you believe that's who you are, it limits you to the wealth of other characters that are inside. So um, uh, he helps you discover uh, all those many facets of yourself. Mm. And then uh, study, I, you know, I study constantly when I'm not working. Because, you know, the more, I, the more I learn about acting, the more I realize I don't know. Yeah. Patrick was saying, you know, while we were working that he was, you know, he had this, he was trying to um, <sighs> trust the moment, you know, mm. to not have anything predetermined in his head and come to the, you know, the scene and then have it happen. You know, not come with nothing, work on it as much as you possibly can, but then try to let it go and then exist. You know, and, and that was, um, when I heard that, it was a very heavy thing, because it's like, okay, we got to do that. That's where you, that's heavy. That's the way, you know, that's why acting is the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's constantly working on the dialogue and, and uh, trying to divine what are we doing here, what's going on, you know? And it was, strange because we were playing these two guys who didn't really know in their lives where they were going so we could never really fathom it and we would never allow ourselves to say that you know what i mean we never even came up with that we always had to know we were always going catherine what are we doing here man you know so it was it was, it was a very confusing tough invigorating uh, you know test of fire and then she'd say action and something would happen you know and a lot would reveal itself once we did it we'd be yeah. yakking and yakking and then, boom, we do it, and something would happen. We'd go, whoa, oh, that's what this scene's about, you mm -hmm. know? And that, it just proved that you can only do so much up here. Because yeah, it's, it's more, you know, a script or a character doesn't come alive until you, uh, until you get to that place of discovery. You know, if you're willing to discover and experiment and, and, and uh, let curveballs come in and, and grab things out of the air. And, uh, and commit. And, and he obviously has massive passion about his work and and cares almost to a fault he's a little hard on himself when he works but that's good because that you know it continues a seeking spirit mm. uh you know because he wants the most out of the moment uh and out of out of himself and uh, that lack of tolerance for anything less than the best is is what's going to make him one of the best actors in the world mm -hmm.